Hello, my amazing sexy mofos. This is your boy Venomy here. I really do hope you're all okay and having an amazing day so far. In today's video, I've got a Fallout 76 taming spot video for every single one of you. Where to find your tames, but straight off the bat, if you are new around here and like what you see, then please do subscribe to join this amazing sexy family. But now let's jump straight into this. Okay, so surprisingly taming is still very new to some players in Fallout. Loads of new players are joining every single day as the game has gotten a lot, lot better. So, when it comes to taming, what can I actually tame? I'm just going to show you all a few little things. This is not every single picture of every animal you can tame. Obviously, you can tame loads of different creatures and animals, and obviously mutated variants of them as well, as well as legendary variants. Loads of you have come by my house recently, seen what I've been taming, and a bit curious at how to actually find them and tame them. I'll cut a little bit of it short, we'll talk more about the locations. But the actual things you need to tame is just Animal Friend free. It's a Charisma perk. You only need free Charisma to actually tame. It really doesn't matter about your level either. As obviously, ever since the Wastelander update, Fallout kind of just adjusts every creature around you to your level. You're obviously, for example, level 100 pluses will see a completely different level for a creature if a level 10 was to look at it, for example. So anyone can tame, it's completely possible. So, when it comes to actually where do you actually find these things, here I would recommend right here, right below Abby's Bunker, and then right by Vault 79 you've got a Fisher site. Just up the hill, east up the hill, you will find another random event. And then if you look on the map, Right next to the compass, the W, right below it, you have another random event. Now, these three random events, these three random encounters, are in the same location, pretty much. To make, an, obviously, another possible chance, if you go to all three and you don't find a tame, or you're a bit unhappy with what you found, you can obviously just server hop. And what that, what that will do is refresh, you'll go into a different lobby, a different server. So there's going to be obviously three more chances to try get that death claw, to try get that mega sloth, that dog, that chicken, uh, the cat, whatever it is that you're actually trying to tame. You can tame a whole bunch of creatures, I'm just going to show a few of you now. This is me doing my tame run. This is me pretty much every single time I was server hopping. I was finding a team. The second I would get to the Fisher site right next to Vault 79, just run east up the hill. This is that spot right there where us where the bear was. This is Cranberry Glade right here. You can get almost I wouldn't say it's as high chance as Vault 79 Fisher site, but you do have a very high chance of getting a team at Cranberry. I would highly recommend coming here. Remember though, you have to have the Animal Friend free perk on before you actually get to the area. If you get to the area without the perk on, no random tame, nothing is going to spawn for you. So you have to have Animal Friend on. Don't worry about Wasteland Whisperer, that perk is useless. It's got nothing to do with taming, that's for pacifying. Pacifying, it means calm down, it means relax. Uh, tame means obviously control, tame, and make it yours. As you can see, another attack dog here. There's so many possible teams. Mega Sloth, Deathclaw, Bear, Attack Dog, Chicken, Brahmin, Ragstag. There's, and you can obviously profit off. If you tamed, you have the Brahmin uh, Misk thing, the Brahmin pen at your camp, and then tame a Brahmin. Obviously, you can milk both, and you can actually farm off both. So if you are actually wanting to be have a farm or be resourceful about this, depending on what which creature you tame, can obviously benefit and help you if you just want something big to kind of scare people off or defend your camp you can also do that as well something like a mega sloth or a death claw even a tier 2 animal like a murloc king 
or a bear. They're just as effective as a Deathclaw. Super strong, they can take on super mutants, anything like that that might randomly spawn at your camp. Maybe even Scorched as well, that's a very popular thing to spawn at people's camps. Other than that, then, if you had a tame, you could then destroy your turrets, just obviously scrap them and give yourself more camp budget. That's obviously another reason to get grab yourself a tame as well. But I'm gonna wrap this video up here. I do really hope you're all okay and having an amazing day so far. But I love every single one of you. And I'll see you all in the next video.